Hello, welcome back to another video. My name is Linter and of course you already knew that. And inside of this video, I wanna discuss the one question that changed my entire life. Now this is not an understatement, but it's coming from a 34 year old, me being 34 at the moment, I have two kids, I have an amazing wife, my definition of success isn't about trying to build the biggest company. It's not trying to make billions and billions of dollars and go for a massive exit. The success of my life is actually to ultimately work hard and play hard. So being able to grow the business and being able to grow the family unit at the very same time, I believe that business and family are so intertwined and it's such a skill set that I wish that my parents had passed over to me in terms of I wish they had taught me about money, I wish that I, they, they had taught me about business and what I need to do to make more money to become financially prosperous. So one of my key beliefs right now as a parent is like how do I actually go from zero to one and then pass the baton over to my kids, Ocean and Atlas, where they can take it from one to five. I think that's something so special and I think that that's something that I would love to leave behind for them. It's not about the money that I leave behind. In fact, me and Kerry think about leaving nothing behind for them, but we wanna leave with them behind the skills and the resourcefulness in order for them to be able to go from one to five. Now, there's one question that profoundly changed my life. Back when I was 24 or 25, 26, and I had no kids, I didn't actually have to ask this question. Because for 16 hours a day, what I would be doing is I'd be learning, I'd be studying, I'd be working, I'd be writing ads, I'd be launching new offers, I'd be writing sales pages, I'd be building, building new funnels, trying to sell more shit online. So I never had to ask myself this question. And the reasons why I never had to ask myself this question is because I didn't have any constraints. And the one question that changed my life is this question. What is the one thing that I can do today inside of my business if I only had one hour? to actually grow my business and move it forward. To move this business forward, what would I do? Well, this question puts you inside of a constraint and it's using like the 80-20 the principle. Like you, you, you put in 20% of the work, you find the 20% the of work that needs to be done that drives 80% of the outcomes. And the reality is this, when you have kids, when you are growing a business, when you start to grow and you have, start to have more employees, when you start to have more clients, generally what happens is your mind, your brain, your desk fills up with all of this work. And the hardest part is actually deciphering what work actually needs to get done and what work can actually get parked. And the craziest question is, if I could only do one thing, if I could only pick one thing from this pile of work that would actually continue to drive momentum and continue to drive the businesses forward, what would that have to be? The reasons why I ask this and ask this question and focus on this is because as a dad, when you have two kids, I didn't realize this, like by about 3 p.m. in the afternoon, you're tired. You're constantly smashed. Like hearing the kids actually cry, just emotionally zap you. You have to be emotionally available. Not only that, then you have to be emotionally available for your partner. Because you and your partner are gonna to be together. You guys are actually on this mission to actually help the kids grow up and parent them and, and create great kids. And you have to be connected and you have to have a great relationship still. And there's so much, there's so much, so many things that demand time, energy from you that you have to be sharp. And with this constraint, what I started to recognize is if I can ask that question once a week, and I can look inside of the half a dozen businesses that I work with doing anywhere between three to five million a year at the moment. So I work with and I, I currently partner with and consult and actually have to figure out the strategies to grow six businesses that anywhere between $300,000 a month to four fifty, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 a month and figure out how to grow them, it actually becomes quite a, a difficult task. The reasons why I wanna share this with you is quite often at the start when you have nothing to do and you have all the time in the world and you have one business, you have no kids, you have all the time. Okay, this is not really going to apply to you. But if you carry that same standard over to the moment that you get married, you have children, and you don't sort yourself out, that's when you can let things slip. That's when you can start to gain weight. And for a period of time, when I just focused all my time, energy, and effort on the business, and I didn't actually look after myself, I didn't go to the gym, I didn't have to look after my health. Like, I, I, don't really, I didn't really care about recovery back when I was 20. Like, I felt invincible. I was just gaining weight, I was becoming unhealthier, but I didn't care. The reasons why I didn't care because I didn't have to care. You didn't have to be in balance. And so with the principles that I have now, which is I wanna work extremely hard and, and do the things that actually matter, but I don't wanna live to work, I wanna work to live. I wanna be able to do the work so that I have the financial freedom so that we can actually live life, right? Otherwise, we just, uh, in, my, in my opinion, we just become robots. Is there any point in me becoming a robot? No, I would like to experience the essence of life. So I'm gonna leave you with this one question. What is the one thing that you can get today? If you had one hour to actually move the needle forward, what would you have to do? I guarantee that you have to, if you ask that question, everything else becomes irrelevant. Quite often we stress too much about everything inside of the business. We stress about all this shit that doesn't actually matter, that actually doesn't drive the need forward, yet it takes up all of the time. 
And most people get stuck in this spider web because they can't move forward because they're focusing on so, doing so much work that doesn't actually drive any outcomes. Doesn't, it doesn't drive revenue, doesn't drive profit. It doesn't drive that next campaign. It doesn't keep them. It doesn't build that next layer that's gonna take them to the next level. And so my thought process here is, as I'm thinking about this for myself, as I'm thinking about structuring my day and, and focusing on that one hour block, I make sure that that one hour block is when I wake up, okay, I do my workout, I film content, and then I get into that one hour block. The reason is, your energy will get zapped throughout the day. You will have less mental energy, you'll have less mental clarity to be able to execute effectively on that one hour block. So I'm gonna leave that thought with you today. This is a quick and a short one. What is that one thing, if you only had one hour a day to work on one thing to drive the business forward? Or you might drive whatever you wanna drive forward. What's that one, one thing that you have to do? It's a great question to ask, and more importantly, if you can sit on it and reflect on it and think and write down a list of all the things and you just pick one thing from that list, what's that thing that you're gonna do? All right, have a great day, bye-bye for now, and I'll see you on the next video.